All right, it is Sunday, December the 3rd in the afternoon here in Panahachel, looking out at the um, Lake Added Land in Guatemala. Anyway, hello friends. I'm gonna make a um, few videos. So the beginning of the videos, you'll see me in the same shirt. It's because it's the same day. I'm just trying to put together our vacation videos. The first part of this video, um, I am still, I'm wearing a red shirt, you'll see it. And I'm still in um, Guatemala. Um, the protests are going on and um, we are not certain when we're going to be leaving or how that's going to work. Um, the ladies are working, it's a Saturday, and um, Sergio and I are thinking, due to one of the ladies suggesting it, um, of, of changing the travel plans and getting us out of here before the airport gets closed down later in the week. And so um, you'll see that on the video. You'll see Giovanni working with Misael on that day. You'll see um, also um, us in the hotel because we made it. What you won't see is the trip that we made in the car. So I'll interject a little bit on here of the trip that we made and how we got through those blocks and what happened there. So things just get more interesting as we go. It is Saturday, friends. Saturday, the 14th of October, and um, the protests continue. Although I heard that um, things in the city are more free today, more open, but they're going to crank down again um, Monday. So look at this. Look, these just grow right out of the wall. Isn't that cool? Look at Isn't that beautiful? It just grows right out of the wall. Look at that. I mean, the wall is tall. Everything in my videos is... It's hard to show you the grandness and the beauty of things. Look at this. There's another one growing out of the wall. Isn't that pretty? And look at this. How big is this? Here's my hand. This is right outside my front door. It's huge. Anyway, um, we had somebody that was coming to service our internet system. And he made it through. But it took him from 7 in the morning yesterday till 9 o'clock last night to get through. He said it was terrible, and I can't imagine doing that with three kids. So, um, where are y'all going? What's the hurry? So anyway, um, I'll show you some flowers over here. We um, were talking with one of our ladies that works here. See, look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? I just love it. Um, I was talking with one of the ladies that works with us, and she said, is there any way you can leave early? <laughs> I said, Huh? I got to thinking, it's so stupid because Sergio and I have been planning this for a specific date because of the kids. Look at this wall. This is part of the humidity problem that we have here from the rain. We're going to let it dry up and then we'll have to scrape it down and fix the wall. Um, but anyway, I keep getting distracted. So anyway, um, we have been planning for a certain date because the kids were in school. Well, they haven't had classes in two weeks. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think about going earlier? So today, if things are um, not as difficult to pass and tomorrow, then it makes sense that we leave either today up until um, Monday in the wee hours of the morning and get to the airport by like five or six in the morning so we don't have any problems. We can sit in the airport and fly out late in the day. I don't care. So if we left tomorrow or Sunday, that makes sense, doesn't it? You know, sometimes it's the simplest things that you just don't think about. I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Duh, goodness. So anyway, um, I guess, you know, the protests continue. Hefe's, Hefe's being Hefe. Where is he? There he is. Anyway, the protests continue. Things are locked down. Um, both of our ladies are off tomorrow. It's Sunday. The priests can't pass through here to do mass. They, they can't get through um, in all of the places they need to go. So um, the ladies have to go serve down at the post, the blockades tomorrow from seven in the morning till one on Sunday. Anyway, that's just the way it is, right? Um, eggs are getting scarce, milk is scarce. Um, things like that. They're letting the trucks that have vegetables and fruits on them pass through um, because they had an instance down 
down on the coast where they had to throw a bunch of it away because the trucks just sat there and couldn't get through. Um, they're talking about possibly this getting even worse this coming week and possibly the airport closing. So let's see what happens. I've already tried to contact the airlines. Um, they are supposed to be calling Sergio back in the next 30 minutes. We're going to find out if these tickets that we have are, uh, can we change them? I, you know, I don't know that kind of stuff. Can you change them? And if so, how much does that cost? And is it worth it in the end? Or do we keep our, our other reservations? I don't know. I don't know. So, um, I might have to go in and pack here pretty soon. The ladies leave at noon and I'm going to get on with the packing just in case, because you never know when you're going to leave, right? God put that bug in my ear yesterday about you need to start packing. You need to start packing and, and get things done. So I've got one suitcase full and um, I will continue on and get stuff packed up because we can be leaving. We may be out of here. So while we're contemplating how we're going to do this trip, Misael is cleaning up down below and putting Giovanni to work. Look at Giovanni carrying the gas for him. And Giovanni loves it. He loves helping Misael and being a man. Okay, so this is me um, doing a little cray cray, a little out of control. I like my stuff controlled, planned, you know, all the things. So, Sully was asking me, why why are we not leaving, right? And, and so, anyway, long story short, in the end, we are changing our plans and we leave Monday. This is Saturday. Um, so, I ran downstairs. Well, first I moved stuff off of the patio out here because it's outside. And in case it entices anybody, I don't want anybody stealing some of that stuff. So I moved it downstairs into the house, the big chairs and everything. Um, and, and now I'm going to have to be moving my, like my waffle maker, ice cream maker, all of that stuff from here and take it downstairs as well. The Uber driver is on his way. It is Saturday, but if he does not start now from the city, he may not make it here in a timely fashion to get us back, depending on the troubles that he encounters. So he's heading this way. Meanwhile, I also packed. I've got all of Giovanni's stuff packed and both girls' stuff packed. I put everything on one of those that packs in bags, freezer bags, Ziploc bags. So everything, all of their stuff is packed. They have their two nights for hotels because who knows what will happen, swimsuit, those kinds of things, in a carry-on, um, little pushy carry-on that the girls have. They each have one. Um, so Giovanni's clothes, the girls' clothes are in there. I still have to pack my clothes. Um, I explained to the ladies, we've got all that situated, they know where the money is, they've got it locked up, they're ready, they're ready for their week, they know we will not be here on Monday. Um, anyway, we don't know, are we leaving tonight, are we leaving tomorrow during the day, are we leaving tomorrow night, how will that work, we have no idea at this point, our tickets are for Monday afternoon, and, um, and I'm cooking because the man that is installing the satellite, the new, what are those called for the satellites? Anyway, he's here and um, he's doing that. So I have hamburgers and fruit and vegetables and stuff ready. And I'm cooking some shrimp and some pork as well um, because I don't know if the Uber driver will have gotten to eat because there's no restaurants like to drive through on the way here really. There's a McDonald's and a chicken place if you can get over. You know, I don't know how the traffic will be or how, how the blocks will be. So anyway, just trying to do my best to um, Keep us afloat and get us gone on the airplane. Once my foot is on that airplane on Monday, it's good. I'm good. I'm good. But we've had to change seats. We'll have to do some rearranging. I'm hoping that we're all sitting together, the kids and I. Say a prayer. Also, um, on when we land in Dallas, there's no flight to Amarillo, so we will be staying the night in a hotel in Dallas. Going back to the airport on uh, Tuesday and flying to Amarillo. It's, it's going to be a circus, but we're going to get her done. So let's see how it goes. Well, it's about 20 minutes till 5 on Saturday. I have yeah. a superstar. Are we packed? Uh, I think so. Everything's pretty much in the car except one suitcase. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs and wash dishes, and then I'm going to come back downstairs. Are we packed? Are we locked and loaded? No. And we are charging our iPads, our tablets for the trip. Yeah. Charging headphones, and um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go wash dishes, come back down and make beds, 
um, because I have um, the guardian gonna stay in the house so that the lights will be coming off and on and someone will be here inside the house while we're gone. Pretty clever. Okay, here we Bye. go. Bye. Okay, so now in this next part of the video, what you're going to see is us at the hotel. Now, how did we get to the hotel? Well, what happened was the Uber driver and his brother came, and they went through six blockados to get to us. It took them from 9 in the morning till 9 o'clock, 9.30 at night to get to us. They hadn't eaten all day. They were hungry. So now my car is loaded because Sergio told me to pack and be ready because we don't know what, what time the Uber man will get here or if he'll even get through. They're hungry. So now i got to cook again. So here I am looking, thinking, what do I have? I can't even remember. Made spaghetti or something like that. I don't even know. Um, I figured if they were hungry enough, they're going to eat it. And if not, well, they'll starve. I don't know what to do. So what happened was after that, I still wasn't sure. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning up the kitchen. And I asked the man that was here doing the internet because he is friends with the Uber driver. And I said, D in Spanish, everybody speaks Spanish. Do you have any idea? Am I leaving tonight? Am I leaving tomorrow? Do you know what we're doing? And he said, well, I think you're leaving as soon as they get done eating. And I said, well, okay. So I got the kids ready and, um, and we left, we left. And lo and behold, I found out later, I forgot it was payday for the guardian and I left without paying him. I thought I had everything taken care of, but it was so fast. So anyway, we get in the car and it's like 1030 at night, I think, and we're heading out. And the Uber driver, his name's Mauricio. He is driving my car. I'm sitting up front with him. He put an oxygen tank in the front seat with me. The three kids are buckled in in the seat behind us. Giovanni's got a horrible cough, which he gave to me and Sergio, and now the girls are getting it. And um, Giovanni still has his cough, but it saved us this night. So Giovanni has a horrible cough. Sergio had sent a doctor's note, um, which actually pertained, I believe, to his own mother, um, an old note. Anyway, that aside, um, remember a lot of people here don't read. They haven't gotten to go to school living in the indigenous areas that we live in. In the city, it's different, but where we live, there's a lot of that. And so as we um, are driving, um, uh, Mauricio, the Uber driver, his brother takes the car that they came in and he heads back a different route, which is through um, some back roads. It would be like if you're gonna go to um, when I go to Iowa and we go the back roads or we can go the highway, right? And so he took the car the back roads, which wasn't a good idea for us because of the kids and me at that point. And so we went the main roadway and he said, we're going to have to probably get through six blocks. And I said, okay, the first block was about 20 minutes from the house. Okay. And, um, and what happened as we approached the block is these men, they have cinder blocks across the road. They've got campfires going in the street because they're staying up all night and it's chilly at night. And these men see you coming and we had on hazard lights and they surround our car. Now, mind you, they carry machetes. It's very intimidating. It's dark. Um, the campfires are going, there's cinder blocks across the road. Um, you can't get through. They surround your car. They demand that you unroll your windows. Um, they decline and deny you access to passing. And so the Uber driver told me, he said, don't say a word. I said, you don't have to worry. I'm going to say a thing. And so um, uh, he showed them the medical note um, that Sergio had sent him on, on the phone. And they are scrutinizing it to the best of their ability, not realizing it's not it's it's for Sergio's mother it's for it's for a woman and he points at the oxygen tank and he says I've got to get this through the way he got through was saying he had this oxygen tank and he needed to get it to somebody um, in in the next city and so each pass that he got he had to get through it, it, it was just incredible anyway he got through to us um, and that's how he got through. So going back, he said, I've got this oxygen tank. Here's this doctor's note. And I've got this sick little boy in the back, meaning Giovanni, because he had this cough, right? And um, they're like, oh, unroll the windows. Let us look. And so they're looking. They're like, why isn't he on the oxygen if he's so sick? I mean, you know, true. That's true. About this time, Giovanni busts out with an uncontrollable, nasty, croupy, mucusy, yuck cough. And they're like... 
go, go, go. And they moved the cinder blocks because we told them we had to take them to the hospital in the city. And they moved the cinder blocks and they let us get through. And, um, and we made it to the next block. And the same thing happened at the next block. And then after that, all the other blocks were open because a lot of times they open the blocks at night and let people pass through. So we made it to the city. I think it was close to 1 a.m., got the hotel. And we stayed there. He said, don't leave the hotel. Don't go out for any reason. Well, we snuck out, went across the street to do some souvenir shopping. <laughs> I had to get out. <clears throat> and then we went right back into the hotel we ate in the hotel we swam in the hotel we spent the whole day in the hotel we were supposed to leave the next morning at 6 a.m to get to the airport because our plane took off at 2 and 2 30 and he said they're going to block the airport they're going to block the airport and i'm nervous if we wait until um 6 a.m that they might have it blocked off i said tell me what time and i'll be up and ready 4 a.m he said i'll pick you up at four so the kids and i were up dressed suitcases ready to go 4 a.m out the door we go they load us up get us to the airport. We get in the airport and there's people sleeping all over on the floor because of the impending blocks. I mean, body to body, snoring, people that don't even know each other. I mean, waiting, waiting, waiting. We get through the airport line, we get inside and we wait all day long. Three kids and I all day long in an airport, right? So then as the day drones on, <clears throat> I see the military and I'm like, oh dear Lord, I hope we get to fly out because they're military, you know, they're dressed in their um, camouflage, the military. And then Sergio's cousin, who is Minister of Transportation um, or Secretary of Transportation, anyway, he um, was in the airport and he was yelling, Senora, Senora, Senora. And I thought, no, it's not for me because nobody here knows me, right? No, it was for me. He was yelling for me and said hello and said, can we take a photo? <laughs> like, yeah, I said, we just want to get on the plane. And he said, yeah, we're doing our best. I said, you're working hard. He said, yes, I am trying to keep things, you know, from escalating. And um, we said our goodbyes and we got on our airplane, one of the last to leave that day and got out. And so um, the rest of this, you'll see, we're just, you know, we're, we're at the hotel and then, and then you'll see the rest. Come on, girls. Here we go. All right, so, well, it's Sunday morning. We're a little worse for the wear. We're all tired and we're heading down to breakfast. 8.30, we're on the seventh floor. What's out there, Chovani? Oh, no, this is going down. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hey, Joe, I just saw your message. We're heading down to this swimming pool. I'd rather I'd rather have a tooth pulled at the dentist than go to the swimming pool. There we go, there's Giovanni. You know, it's me with three, so, and we're trying yeah, these floaties instead of their normal arm floaties. So it's it goes around their neck and ties around their waist. And um, so it's kind of like, you know, confining like Giovanni. So I don't know how this will work, but it's the only way they get to swim. We are in the hotel in... Yeah. Guatemala City. We fly out tomorrow afternoon at 2 to 10 p.m. here. Um, we'll be at the airport by 6 a.m. because the blocks begin again. Um, right now it's kind of open out there um, in places, but like to get through here last night, we had to get through two, only two blocks. But the man, it took him from 11 o'clock yesterday till 9 o'clock last night to get to our house. Um, to get through the blocks. He was driving the wrong way in traffic, coming towards him, trying to get around all of the parked cars that were parked because there was a block. And he had an oxygen tank and he had a doctor's note from Sergio. And so he was telling them, I've got to get this oxygen through. I've got to get this oxygen through. Here's the doctor's note. And then when we came back through, Giovanni has a horrible cough. So as they stopped us, they're shining flashlights in the car. They're looking at the kids, they're looking at us. 
and um, he's like, I have a doctor's note, and he was letting them read and Sergio's the doctor's note. Showed him the, on my yeah, he showed him the oxygen tank, and then Giovanni has this creepy cough, and he's like, rip, rip, and they're like, go, go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. So anyway, um, his cough actually benefited us in the end at the stops that we did get stopped at. Um, and then we got here, and then he said, I'm going to pick you up uh, at 5.30 in the morning Monday. And he's driving my car. So my car um, is here, but it's um, he has the key. And so uh, Gianna thinks we need to go to the toy store. And I'm like, no, we're not going anywhere because they told me all these streets get blocked off, and then you can't pass through, and I'm going to get stuck somewhere. No. So we're just staying in the hotel. We're going to go swim, hang out here. We'll be leaving at 5.30 in the morning to go to the airport. And then um, we will be flying out at 2. We will land in Dallas. And because we switch, switched to flights, they don't have a, um, a flight out of Dallas for us tomorrow. It's fully booked. So we'll have to stay in the hotel. We're just going to stay at the hotel there at the airport. And then um, we'll fly in to Amarillo on Tuesday. No, yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday. So I'll be there Tuesday afternoon. Isn't that great? Anyway, a few days early. Why didn't we think of this before? I didn't even think about flying out earlier to avoid the problems, but it's getting worse here. And they're um, Mommy, they're thinking they might bring in the military. Mommy. And if they do that, it's going to get bad. So it's good that we're leaving. It's good we had a planned vacation. I can't wait to see you. Okay, Giovanni won't leave me alone. I love you. I got to go. Bye, Angela. Here we go to the swimming pool. You want to again? I still haven't brushed your teeth. I forgot again. Mom, okay. the, the girls that always make wear cover-ups. I don't like them running around a hotel in their swimsuits. So this is what they picked. I think they look cute. They have their little floaties. We're trying out some new uh, around the neck floaties instead of the arm so floaties. Hot. They've used them once Dad. before, but um, they were quite a bit younger. So Dad. here we go. There's. Always interest in that elevator, the buttons, the up and down. You know, here we go, down to the pool. All right, now we're down in the basement. Going to the swimming pool. Get some towels, girls. Let's get four. Let's get four. Let's get four. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Usted qué tal? Uh, muy bien, gracias. Qué bueno. ¿Cuántas necesitas? Eh? Cuatro. Uh, cuatro, por favor. ¿Qué habitaciones? Uh, siete y cinco, uno. Hacia adelante. Gracias. Si es tan amable cuando lo okay. quieras y usar, debes ir a dejar aquí mismo. Ok. Hola. All right, here we no go. No dejaron a mami levantarse tarde, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ayuden a mami cada quien con su toallita. Sí, claro. Cada quien con su toallita. Gracias, lindo, gracias. Doctor. Okay, here we go, kids. The gym. No, I don't have to work out. Oh, you guys have to work out. You guys are silly. Okay, stay away from the deep part. You know, I'm on floaties. Yeah, well, usually they're open. Oh, I forgot my sunglasses. I'm going to suffer. They're in the car. Don't let me forget those or the red phone tomorrow. What does this say? Can't bring in food or drink. Okay. Can it be in your mom? Yep, you can get in these. So the way it works, this is, this is like a little baby pool. There's people, so I can't go over there. This is a little bit deeper, and then this is the regular pool. So, Giovanni. Yeah, go ahead and get in this one, Giovanni. Over here, this one. Try this one first. Okay, good. I just want to make sure they're safe. This water's so cold, and I am just not about this. So, as long as they're safe and I'm sitting right here and they can play all day, I'm happy too. Oh, whoa. Giovanni's got to think this through. I'm going to have to help him get in. I need to see that Giovanni can float before he gets in deeper water. Look at Amalia. Do what Amalia's doing. There you go. Put your feet down. You can stand up. You can stand up. There you go. <laughs>
Ok, Giovanni. Uno, dos y tres. Wow, he's in the bigger pool, Dad. He, he moved from the baby pool. He's having a ball. And he's gotten out in the great big pool, too. How many times? Go. How many times? Oh. Oh, that wasn't a good one. All right. All right. Two. Uh, three. <laughs> uh, that's all? Three? Okay. You guys got it. You're doing great. Keep going, Amalia. Back and forth. I'm going to wear them out. They'll sleep good tonight. We have to be up at like 2.30 in the morning to get to the airport before the protests get crazy <laughs> on Monday. So that's what we're doing. Go, go, go. Keep going. We ordered pizza, hamburger, no pizza, chicken, french fries, some banana shakes. Oh, come on. Keep going. Oh, wear them out. We got to go to bed early tonight. Well, well, I'm gonna do a quick video, kids. Well, we talked to dad and what did dad say? What time do we have to be downstairs in the morning? Four. Four in the morning, huh? Because things are gonna get crazy here. And um, after we leave, the Uber man will have my car and he's gonna have to take it through the city, through the blocks and try to park it. So anyway, we are um, eating and going up to our room and taking some hot baths and relaxing. Okay, there we go. Here we are. It's just me and my sidekick. And the other two are over there. See him? Yeah, the sidekick. So we're at the airport. It is 10 in the morning on Monday. We've been here since 4.30 this morning. I got up at 2. They got up at 3. Um, our flight doesn't leave until after 2 o'clock today. Two. But, we're but we are getting on the but why are we here so early? What's happening outside? Because of blocks. Blocks and protests and things. And they said that the airport might get closed down and all of that. So we wanted to make sure that we were here in a timely fashion. Here comes Nosy Rosie. Say, we're making a video. Say hello. <laughs> Go watch your video. I like listening to you laugh. Anyway, so we're here and we're waiting and we're, we're we've, we've eaten breakfast. No. Giovanni has headphones in. Anyway, we had coffee and drinks and then we had breakfast at McDonald's. And now we're um, just hanging out and waiting. We'll buy snacks to get on the airplanes. We're staying in Dallas tonight because um, we had to change our plans because of the protests. We flew out early and so um, there's nowhere, there's no seats on the airplane from Dallas to Amarillo. So we're gonna stay the night in the airport and the hotel, and the hotel. Although when I got here today, there were so many people here sleeping on the floor. And I asked Serge what the deal was, and he said they didn't pay for a hotel, and due to the circumstances, the airport was full. And they were all sound asleep. The guy, when I sat down to fill out my paperwork, was snoring, like, ugh, out. Did you hear him? It was... No. Anyway, so um, we're here, and we're waiting, and our next leg will be flying, and then we'll be in Dallas for the night, right? And we fly out in the morning to Amarillo. And what time you getting uh, To where, Dallas? 7.30 to 9. No, no, no. Um, Amarillo? I think tomorrow morning around 10. I think. Something like that. Okay, I gotta go. Well, here's the Mooney's Munchkins. We made it on the airplane. One of the last groups to fly out. The airport was sparse with people. But look at, and I think they're a little tired.
I know this part may be a little boring for some, but for me, I find it so interesting. Gianna keeps looking out the window, Amalia's a little bit restless, and Giovanni is very interested, and he does a lot of self-stimming as he waits yeah. for the takeoff. So we're just waiting for takeoff here. saving this for the kids to see one day. I mean, me traveling with three kids, and I'm also sharing this because I know my husband will watch this video. He hasn't traveled with the three of them by himself ever, and he hasn't traveled with the three of them in a couple of years. Giovanni was entertaining everyone around us. You're ready. As you can see, they've switched seats and watch how restless they are. They just are constant motion. They're so tired they can't stand it. I'll bet they burnt over 500 calories a piece while they moved and jiggled and wiggled on this flight. Oh. 
Okay, as you can see, we made it to Amarillo. And when we got there and got off the airplane, nobody was there to greet us. No. And I thought, I know Sergio knows we're coming. Well, he, you know, had to make pit stops. So um, it took him, it took him a minute longer. And so we were already downstairs getting our luggage when he came in. And um, anyway, it was great. And from there, we went and ate breakfast. I think we went to the Cracker Barrel. We were starving. He was not. You know, he works nights, and it was 10 in the morning, and it's not his time of day to eat. And so he ordered breakfast and took his with him. And um, the kids needed to get rid of some energy, and we could not check into the hotel yet. So we went to the park. We went straight to Medi Park and played. And here's a little bit of that. Good job. Good job. I gotta turn that whole video around. Do it upside down. Oh my goodness, you kids. Very fast? Yeah. What sand pit? Oh my gosh. And then we finally made it to the hotel that afternoon. We stopped at the office. We had a full day that day, didn't we? And we were tired, but they wanted to swim. So swim we did. Good job, buddy. Swim. 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 If you're going to jump, you got to swim. Oh my gosh, and then the next day we went to the Discovery Center. So they had We're fun in a playing submarine there. It's been a while since they'd been there. Come in. You'll like it. You can sit down with me. Oh, oh are you okay? Yeah. Push the right buttons, Giovanni. Make sure we don't we don't do anything wrong in our submarine.
It's rare that we have Sergio with us. He just happened to be kind of off work that week. Not totally off, but enough that he got to spend some time with us. And it was, it was long overdue. So it was fantastic. And as you can tell, the girls go up and down, up and down. And Giovanni, it takes a while to get him up the stairs and then coax him to go down. He's a little intimidated by this. Oh, and look at these fidget boards. He really liked those. And then they realized they could be newscasters and be on television. So there they are up on the news set and there they are on television. Isn't that cute? Give me the news. Give me the news. Give me the news. Yeah, point at, point at the green part. There you go. Point at the green wall. The green one. There you go, like that. But face me. Look at mommy. Turn around and just point like this. There, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Good job. And then they even had live animals. And so the kids enjoyed walking through that as well. And this excavator, you know, they used to have excavators. Giovanni couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. Where did those old excavators go? Then it was outside to explore a little more. It was a little windy and a little cool. We weren't quite used to that. I kind of hid inside. Let Giovanni play one. Ah. Amelia Marie, thank you. Giovanni, help her. Okay, I want to play with the door. Okay, you play with the door. Is that the best thing in here? Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere we go, Giovanni finds a door, and it's the best, best thing ever. And as we wrapped up the Discovery Center, and after we ate, it was back to the hotel and more swimming.
your face in the water and swim. And why do I keep telling them to swim? Because they can. And every time I turned on the camera, they stopped. Put your face in the water. Okay. And this is typical, Dad's usually occupied with something on his phone, and Giovanni has the room key. That's what he's eating. He has to hold the room yep. key. It does. Go the other way. Go back. I need my And then after about three nights, it was time to load up and head to the go. Airbnb Down for the month. There goes Serge, Giovanni, there goes Gianna, Amelia, loading the car. Lock and load, there they go. We're done here, it is Saturday. We stayed at the Drury for the last three days until our Airbnb was ready. And so now our Airbnb should be, oops, she dropped her suitcase. The Airbnb should be ready at three o'clock today. So we're checking out of the hotel. And um, look at them go. Isn't that fun? Let me see. Yeah, there they go. Yeah. And so we're checking out of the hotel today. And, um, and we'll be on to the next part of our adventure. The Airbnb we should be staying at through, I don't know, towards the end of November. And, um, and then we'll see what happens. Um, if, if we're heading back then or if we're staying longer, we have no idea. So... Um, anyway, that's kind of where things are for right now. The weather's beautiful here. The kids have played at the park. They've gone to the Discovery Center. Um, they've had a good time so far. We've seen my mom and my sister. We've seen um, a couple of our kids. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing all the grandkids and more of the kids in the next couple of days. So anyway, homeschool uh, every afternoon. Poor kids are suffering through it. We're getting it done. And um, yeah, so that's it. So we'll see what we get into today. Surprise, we're at another park, Southwest Park this time. Mama, you can do it. It's like a bicycle that you do with your hands. Come here, get back up. I really enjoy watching the kids play at the park. I'm amazed at the things that they can do. Uh, I love to watch them explore. You have to remember, they have not been at a park like this in over a year. And so it's just fun. It's all new to them. It's fun to watch them. Yeah, it's a good way to spend some time. And then, of course, this time, Sergio wasn't with us. So, we went for ice cream. Oh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, and remember it was close to Halloween time and we needed costumes. This stuff was just grotesque, but I had to get okay, it on the video because I can't believe it's in a store. So I hurried them along and away from that because that was disgusting. And we went and looked at other things and they picked out their Halloween costumes. That's a stuffed dummy that sits out on your porch. There's cheerleader stuff back here too. 
Might be too big for you. I think most of these are for adults. Mommy. Look at the nails. Vampire teeth. Where? Makeup. No. Look, Gianna. Oh. Hey, you could get some funky ears. Is it some? Do your face makeup. Mommy, can I see? Mommy, can oh. you see the people? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I don't okay, think and then we it. discovered things what, that would that? move. They were motion censored, or you had to push a button. So what here we go. <laughs> go to the next one. See what it does. <laughs> Amalia, be nice about it. Okay, come on. Go to the next one. Mommy, can I try it? Come on. No, I want to try it. Okay. <laughs> hey, where'd you go? Uh uh. Leave the door alone. <laughs> That's crazy. Mommy, can I try too? Yeah, Giovanni, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> okay so you can see that um this video is kind of long and um we were just getting started with our vacation you haven't even seen any of the volleyball football game activities halloween trick-or-treating i mean it goes on and on and on remember we stayed through thanksgiving um, so I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to add in a few pictures. Um, we're making memories. We're documenting the journey, um, not only for us, but for our littles, our little munchkins and for any of the family or friends that are interested in what's going on with them or want to see, you know, what their daily day to day life is like and what we do and how we do it. Here it is. So anyway, I'm going to add in a few pictures and friends say a prayer for me. I'll say a prayer for you, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.